Okay, the next thing is we're gonna animate the uh, two sprites. So you animate it by saying my player black animated sprite uh, dot animate and they want you can just simply type how fast you want the animation to run you can just simply say in milliseconds like 100 milliseconds and then it will it will run through uh, 10 frames per second the only problem with this image is it, that will just simply basically run through these one by one and there will be a blank here because it'll take one image, one image, one image, and when it gets down here, there will be a blank here. So, to eliminate that problem, we're gonna have to uh, uh, do it a different way, and uh, basically, we're gonna have to give it a uh, array, and you do that by typing new long, and you're gonna define how fast, how long uh, you want each of the uh, frames uh, to run. So I'm gonna, we have um, 2467 frames. So we're gonna have to type each, it's gonna run to 100 milliseconds. 4, 5, Six, seven. Now the next thing, uh, it wants to know from what index. So this would be index one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, I'm sorry. It would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the starting index would be zero, and the last index would be six. And you can type here how long uh, you want this. Or you can type in true to simply loop it forever. And again, this will this will get rid of the problem of if you just simply say animate, then it will blink. Also, if you have a more complex file and you just want to know, you just want to select which uh, frames you want to play or when, this is how you do it. You just tell it which index and for how long uh, you want to animate it. So we're going to do the same thing with the red uh, animated sprite. And the last thing uh, for now is we're going to set one of these two uh, visible and the other one invisible. That's because these, we, are, we already uh, my player red uh, because these will only occur when someone clicks on it. So when someone starts the program, not they both will be visible, even though we code it in here. If someone clicks, then uh, it shouldn't be, but uh, it will be. Um, I forgot to put a uh, exclamation mark in here. Um, okay, so let's do that so we're gonna type in uh, this uh, that's set visible and it wants a boolean and one of gonna one of them is gonna be my black or red and the other one is obviously going to be the opposite of that and so just set it to true that means the black will be visible and the red will not be visible so up to this point what we did so far is that we created two sprites on top of one another and uh, in the middle of the screen and we added event listeners and when someone touches them this variable will uh, 
toggle true and false and one of them will become uh, visible and the other will be invisible and we animated them and just to set one of them invisible in the beginning of the program before anything happens this is what we added right here